All right, g'day, hi, and welcome. Okay, so that's pretty dirty water, but I'm going to use that. I'm going to go pour that into my... Uh, There may, I don't know if I'm going to do it today. It's kind of cold. I might wait. I might wait a week. So I got all these done. Okay. And I'm not going to leave them on the counter here, but I'm going to fill all these. That's that's all my pucks. So I'm now out of 1,000 pucks have now been used. Some of these might not be any more good, so hopefully most of them take. Most of them still are. Uh, the ones that are no good, that they come out duds, I grab them and I throw them into my composter, uh, which... Going with a different permaculture idea, instead of throwing it into that compost over there, I will just basically, once I get that all set up, the raised beds and everything like that, basically the raised beds become not only the garden, but the composter. So you're just kind of like, uh, with the, the hay on top and the mud, you just stuck every, stick everything underneath. So we'll have a look at something here. I don't know how many years old this is now, but I had a little uh, pot planter right there that I busted up that I put chives in a couple of years ago and they come back every year and uh, I just want to show you I took the whole clump of it right and here they are so hopefully they'll grow into the side of the hill and they'll have fresh chives I had another one it was out of a pail but the pail rotted away and I swear the chives would come back every spring by the time the snow would melt the, the chives would be about a foot long and they're somewhere in the abyss over there so I'm gonna do that method it works pretty good uh, which reminds me I have to something else. Uh, scrap metal, maybe. If I get a truck in time, rather than throw that out in the scrap metal, not the traps. The traps are still good. Uh, but I saw when did I see it? Uh, oh, Christine, this tractor runs itself. It's, it's, it's a funny tractor. It's a gas powered. Maybe I'll get it running this summer if I have time. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I um, the pucks, before you can get them in the ground, eventually you put them into stuff like this. You fill these up with good topsoil or whatever, and the dog, and then what you do is you transplant these. Uh, if you do it right, you don't have to bust them, you can use them year after year. So you can keep upgrading so your plants can get bigger before you get them in the ground so that they don't die before you get them into the ground. All right, so I'm gonna get into, I'll just show you one more time. my punishment for making a mess is I will force myself to have steaks tonight. Tyrant. Tyrant. But if that's what it takes me to learn, then so be it. I mean, just saying. Just saying. So my floor is kind of drying because I made a mess there. These things leak a little bit because these, these things are getting old. It's a good idea to have a couple of new ones each year and cycle them. Put dates on everything. <laughs> I'm so bad for not doing that. Uh, but there we go. So I'm going to get all my seeds in there and then I'll show you what I'm done. And uh, we'll show you one last thing before uh, I'm done. And uh, I know it's kind of dark down here. But hang on. I'll show you what I'm doing. Is I'll show you my corn. My corn. I don't know how well the corn's going to do this year. I'm going to try the three sisters thing, but you can see, you can see one there. So let's see if I get some light in here. Whoop, wrong light. There we go. So my corns are doing okay. Uh, I I transplanted them from the pucks to the like to the uh, just put some uh, some good uh, topsoil that I had there, and I transplanted to the to these. Uh, and then once they outgrow these, and uh, actually some of my, I thought some of my dud pucks were not going to work here, but they actually are. So some of them are coming up, but some of them are no good. So I'm going to just recycle those. I'm going to get those transplanted. Those are probably peas or something. These ones didn't work. You might be able to recycle them, but I just throw them back into the, uh, into the composter. And then, uh, you know, it's got nutrients in it, so. Yeah, so some, sometimes you just get duds. Some of them could be just the dud seeds, but whatever. So that's where I'm at. And uh, then I can go outside and start assembling the uh, 
the big bad, um, well, call it a deer fence, call it a, a greenhouse, call it a raised bed garden fence, whatever we're going to do with that old carport garage. I'm going to start putting that together. I'd like to have uh, at least everything ready to go by Friday, but it looks like more like next Sunday is May 2-4 weekend, the Queen's birthday. So somewhere around that time, maybe the 22nd, I'll put it in the garden rather than the 15th. It's just because, well, just to show you the temperature here and then it's like 10 to 11 degrees today. And I mean, it's been like four or five. It's been snowing. It's yeah, I know in May it's been snowing. Thank God for global warming, right? Um, no, it's been very cold and the, the wind is still cold. We still have that Arctic wind, northeast wind coming in. And it's just cold. It's been like really cold for the last past like three weeks. Just cold, you know, it's like it's normally warm by now. So that's why we don't put our gardens in, in early here uh, in, uh, you know, parts of Canada. Just because it... it what we run into is that the frost will kill everything before we get it before it gets a chance to grow. So anyway, I'm gonna get those stuff planted, and uh, I'll go from there. <laughs> 